Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the path-breaking LLM papers namely, the era of 1-bit LLMs. All large language models are in 1.58 bits. This is an interesting paper from Microsoft Research. 1-bit LLMs are path-breaking as these LLMs match the performance of full-precision LLMs and also dramatically reduce latency, memory usage and energy consumption. Let's dive into 1-bit LLMs. LLMs achieved remarkable performances in most of the NLP tasks. However, LLM performance comes at the cost of its large size. Here large size refers to billions of parameters. For example, LAMA-2 model consists of 70 billion parameters. And GPT-3 model consists of 175 billion parameters. The large size of LLMs makes real-world deployment difficult. This is because large size results in high latency, large memory usage, less throughput and high energy consumption. This high latency, large memory usage, less throughput and high energy consumption have become bottlenecks to using LLMs in resource-constrained platforms like edge and mobile devices. What are the possible options to reduce the size of LLMs? The first option is to reduce model parameters. The second option is to reduce the model parameter precision. Let us see the feasibility of the first option. Reducing the model parameters makes LLM less powerful. This is because large number of parameters help LLM to learn more and perform well. Reducing the model parameters hurts model learning and subsequently hurts model performance also. Hence, reducing the model parameters is not a feasible option. Let us see the feasibility of the second option. In general, LLMs use high precision, that is 32-bit or 16-bit to represent parameter values. Representing the parameters using such high precision results in large memory usage. A good option is to reduce the precision, that is, represent the parameter values in low precision that is 8-bit, 4-bit or 1-bit. Here, there are two possible options. Training low-precision LLMs from scratch or quantizing high-precision LLMs. Now, let us see quantizing high-precision LLMs. Here, a full-precision LLM is chosen, and then it is quantized to low-precision LLM so that the low-precision LLM can be used for inference or fine-tuning. Here the low-precision LLM has a lot of advantages like less latency, less memory usage, high throughput and less energy consumption. The process of quantizing high-precision LLMs is referred to as post-training quantization. Post-training quantization is very popular nowadays. However, post-training quantization is suboptimal as quantization hurts the LLM performance. As post-training quantization is suboptimal, the researchers focused on training low-precision LLMs that is 1-bit LLMs from scratch. This research eventually led to the evolution of 1-bit LLMs like BitNet B1.58 based on the BitNet architecture. Let us dive deep into BitNet B1.58 LLM. BitNet B1.58 LLM is a 1-bit LLM variant based on BitNet architecture. This LLM represents each of its parameters using minus 1, 0 or 1. BitNet B1.58 matches the performance of LAMA while dramatically reducing latency, memory usage, energy consumption, and achieving higher throughput. Full precision LLMs achieve good performance at a high cost. While BitNet B1.58 achieves a similar performance at a much lower cost. Let us see the BitNet architecture. BitNet is a 1-bit transformer which replaces linear layer with BitNet layer. This block shows the components of BitNet layer. BitNet B1.58 LLM is based on BitNet architecture. BitNet B1.58 includes some changes to enhance the performance. The first one is, ternary with 0. BitNet uses minus 1 and 1 only. While, BitNet B1.58 uses minus 1, 0, and 1. The inclusion of 0 allows for feature filtering within the model. This means it can selectively ignore certain features, boosting its performance compared to pure 1-bit LLMs. The second one is Llama-like components. 
the architecture of Llama has been the de facto backbone to build open source LLMs. To embrace the open source community, BitNet B1.58 adopts the Llama like components. Specifically, it uses RMS norm, SWI GLU, rotary embedding, and removes all biases. Now, let us see the comparison of BitNet B1.58 LLM with Llama model across end task performance, memory and latency, energy consumption, and finally throughput. BitNet B1.58 LLM performance matches with Llama model performance in most of the tasks. On average, BitNet B1.58 LLM outperforms the Llama model. BitNet B1.58 is 4.10 times faster than Llama. Moreover, BitNet B1.58 LLM requires 7.16 times less memory than Llama. BitNet B1.58 LLM includes mostly integer additions, while Llama includes floating point additions and multiplications. Due to this, BitNet B1.58 energy consumption is much less than Llama model. As BitNet B1.58 requires less memory, it can accommodate more number of instances per batch compared to Llama. Moreover, as BitNet B1.58 includes mostly integer additions, it has a much higher throughput compared to Llama which involves floating point additions and multiplications. To summarize, BitNet B1.58 based on BitNet architecture is a path-breaking LLM, which minimizes the bottlenecks for LLM usage in resource-constrained platforms like Edge and mobile devices. I hope you find the video informative. I am Kalyon KS, Research Scientist NLP at ACMAS AI Labs. I do share a lot of useful information related to generative AI and LLMs every day. Feel free to follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter for the latest updates.